Hey guys, this is Jim, WT1W, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. So today I want to share with you something I've had for a while. I don't currently use this, but I have frequently in the past. This is an MFJ antenna transceiver switch, and this is an AABB switch. That's what I call it, at least. And the model number is MFJ1703B, and I'll put a link to this in the description below. This is sold by MFJ to allow you to hook up two radios and two antennas at the same time. And you can see it's marked 1 and 2 and A and B. It doesn't matter which way you hook up. You can have the antennas on A and B and the radios on 1 and 2 or vice versa. Doesn't matter either way. What MFJ does not say is how much isolation this provides, and we're gonna pop the cover off this and take a look at it. The device itself is rated for 300 watts on sideband and 150 watts on CW, 50, 52 or 53 dB. 50 dB is 100 watts. So 300 watts should be around 53 dB, I believe. So we should have at least that much isolation with this device. Now MFJ, like I said, does not say in their documentation for this anywhere what the isolation is. They just give you the wattage rating from which we can derive that it must be about 53 dB of isolation on this guy. And uh, if I did the dB math wrong in my head on the video, I'm sure one of y'all will be kind enough to correct me in the comments. I used to use this when I had a 993, a 991A and a and a um, 7300 and I had two antennas and I had two radios so I literally had the 991 and the 7300 here and an antenna here and an antenna here and then this would allow me to switch back and forth you don't have to use it in that mode you could have one radio and two antennas you switch between you could have uh, one radio, an antenna, and a dummy load. You could have two radios and one antenna. Actually, I think that's how I used it, it was two radios, one antenna. And I never had any problem. So that is what this device is. I'm going to pop the cover off of it, and we can take a look at its innards and go from there. Okay, I've got the cover off, and you can see there's not a lot to it. It is four SO239 soldered with that bridge board in the middle. There may be a little bit more circuitry on the bottom, but I don't, I can't tell from this side and I'm not gonna undo all the SOs and pull all this mess out because it'll be a pain in the butt to get it back in there. But you can see that it's a standard slide switch right here, which is this guy here, double pole, double throw kind of switch. And that's about it, there's not much to it. As it's rated for 300 watts, I think it would be fine doing what they say it's designed to do. And as I said, I did that exact thing. I had two radios hooked to one antenna. I had both of them on at the same time. And I would just switch between whichever radio I wanted to use. That was when I was a newer ham. And I was all excited about FT8 on the 7300 and FT8 on the 991A. So on and so forth. And I never had one problem. The only thing that MFJ cautions about in the instructions for this, and the instructions are one page long, there's almost nothing to them. They say, and it makes perfect sense, don't be switching while you're transmitting. transmitting. But that was kind of funny. So you can switch all you want with the radios on, but you don't want to switch while it's transmitting. So if you were actively FT8ing, I'd probably let FT8 finish before I played with this switch, just so I didn't accidentally start moving this during the middle of a transmit cycle. I assume that's because it can potentially contact multiple pieces at one time and you could run RF out of one radio into the back of the other. I will probably try and do a future video on this maybe next week or the week after and we'll see if we can scientifically assess how much isolation this has. But again, based on the instructions straight from the manufacturer, 300 watts sideband, 150 watts digital should be no problem at all. That is the MFJ1703B antenna transceiver RF safety switch. Guys, if you would, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's in the doodly-doo below. Ring the bell. It's also down there in said doodly-doo. And that way you'll get notified whenever I post any new videos. Y'all, appreciate you watching. Have a good day. 73.